does hormone therapy cause cancer? Well, first we have to ask which hormones. All hormones have different actions in the body. And you could actually supplement all of your hormones. Some people do that. They supplement cortisol, everything. All hormones exist biologically there. They're supposed to be there. The question is really, are they in the right amounts? Because if you have a hormone that's underexposed, meaning you know you don't have enough of it, that could actually potentially cause cancer. And if it's overexposed to certain hormones, potentially that could cause cancer or cause issues. And so it really takes a more nuanced look at number one, what does the hormone do? Is its biological action possibly causing cancer? And number two, is it normally, is, are there normal amounts in the body? Because they're already existing there. It's already naturally in your body, but we want to make sure they're at the biologically healthy amounts. And when we talk about which hormones could play a role in cancer, you know, progesterone can actually treat cancer because it has anti-proliferative effects. On the other hand, progesterone's kind of antagonist, estrogen, potentially can cause cancer. But ultimately, it all comes down to, do you have the healthy amounts exposed in your body? So when we ask, does hormone therapy cause cancer, we really have to get a more nuanced look.